What's up guys and welcome back to another video here on the channel. So today we are looking at a player review about Hyunmin Sun, okay? So his his stats are absolutely crazy. 88 pace, 87 dribbling, 86 shooting, 80 passing with a 69 physical. Uh, really good stamina so he can stay in the game the whole time. Again, this will be a data driven review. We'll get into that in just a second. Um, I actually used him with, what chemistry style did I use him with? With a Hawk chemistry style. And I'm not sure that was the best move for him. As you guys will see, um, I played him primarily on the left wing. Actually, not primarily. Essentially, entirely on the left wing. And, um, and we didn't get on with him. Despite how good his stats are, um, I just didn't find him being in the right spot at the right time. I found his passing to be lacking, particularly with this chemistry style. I think maybe an engine might have been a better one because it boosts the pace and dribbling to make him super fast and then boosts the passing. And that's how I really feel like you need to use wingers in this year's game. He already has great shooting stats for a winger. Probably didn't need to boost him. But anyway, so let's go take a look at Human Sun. Uh, of course, over here. We have four star skills, five star weak foot, high, high work rates, which I actually didn't like. I found like he got too far back a lot of times. And then because he got too far back, he wouldn't get far enough forward and just found him not really in the right positions. I mean, if you just look at his average ratings, 6.59 average rating, that is terrible. Um, and you know, like obviously my form was a little up and down here. I think it was five wins, five losses, but um, but still, I mean, he had one good game, like one very good game, one decent game uh, here. So, like, I don't know, man. It's just, it, yeah, I don't know. He got really involved in this game. Two goals, one assist, two key passes. Even this game as well, one goal, one assist, two key passes. But that was, that were, those were, excuse me, his only two games with goals. Um, and then, you know, he only had four assists through the entire time. So 0.3 goals, 0.4 assists uh, per 90 minutes. Now, his shots on target were very good, but I don't think he had enough shots. And, and you know, I was just playing normally, as I normally do. I actually recorded uh, stats for uh, nine different players. So it's not like I was showing favoritism to one or the other. Um, we really just played our normal game. And... Uh, and yeah, this is kind of how it how it hashed out. I mean, just didn't get involved enough in the ball, in my opinion. 73 passes attempted, 86 dribbles completed. He should be taking on way more people per game than just 8.6 on average. Um, I'm pretty sure my left back was taking on, you know, seven or eight people per game. So yeah, and even his percentages weren't that good. 79 passing percentage, 76 dribbling percentage. It was just really a bit of a bummer. Like. Um, and again, every game was on the left wing. Uh, he does have a finesse shot trait, and he cost about 225k. Now, I bought him when he was about 270k. Um, and I knew, I knew I'd take a little bit of a hit. He actually dropped more than I thought. But maybe people are realizing he's not as good um, as the card stats might suggest, you know? Um, yeah, I just, I find myself a little disappointed with his, uh, with his statistics. And you know what? Maybe he's better as a striker because as I mentioned, his shooting stats are so good. The more opportunity he gets for stats, the, um, the better he might be. Um, so maybe we would do a review as Sun, with Sun as a striker at a later date, um, and track stats for that. Now that's not to say he was useless, obviously, because he did have those flashes of brilliance, as I mentioned. Uh, there, there, even this game wasn't bad, uh, got involved a little bit as well, um, but it's tough when I'm, I'm losing a few games too, because that definitely does hurt, but, you know, I mean, across a sample size of 10 games, you get a pretty good idea of what a player is really like, so, let's look at him compared to the other th two attackers that we've, um, reviewed so far, and so, of course, I do have the player name here, the price um, and the date I reviewed them, as well as average rating. Um, so average rating, obviously, he wasn't even close. Diogo Jota is probably the best comparison because he also he actually played left midfield, so back even further. Both have the five four star skills, five star weak foot, and uh, let me just get them next to each other quickly. So let me sort data format, sort the sheet by range as a header and we sort by and if you guys you guys have access to this by the way this uh the link to all of these documents is in the description down below 
um, so you guys can uh, can take a look at these sheets obviously you can't edit them uh, but you can definitely take a look at them okay so now we have Son here and Jota next to him um, Jota had almost three times as many goals per 90 he had um, not quite dealt, um, you know, about t uh, one and a half times as many assists. Now, key passes, Son was, um, Son was better. So maybe Son was getting into good positions and getting good passes, and his teammates were letting him down a little bit. Um, that's certainly possible. Uh, Son actually completed more passes than Jota, but his dribbling wasn't, wasn't as good. And now, this is a card that's free. It's a card that's seven ratings worse, and it was competitive, if not better. Um, playing a, a further back position. So, for me, uh, Human Son is, is not worth the coins as a left winger. Now, keep that in mind. As a left winger, he was not worth the coins. If you pull him in more as in a 4-2-3-1, that might be better. I was playing a 4-3-3 with a CDM uh, because I like the interplay you get with the central midfield in that formation. Um, but it, it does hurt the wingers a little bit, it might appear. So, in a different formation, he might perform a little better. I can only report on how he performed for me, uh, unfortunately. So, so yeah. So that's that's kind of my review on Hyun Min Sun. If you guys have, um, you know, any thoughts on him down below, please let me know. If you guys have tried him out, um, I'll probably be selling him on when his price rebounds a little bit. You know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know, something like that. Whenever he, uh, whenever he goes back up, um, because. Yeah, I just didn't think he, he really had it for me, unfortunately. So, um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe like I said, I will give him another go at striker before I before I pass him on. But, um, but so a couple of things I, I would suggest to change are change Hawk to engine. Um, potentially move him. If you don't change Hawk to engine and you want to play him on the left. If you want to play. Okay, let me start over. <laughs> Sorry, guys. If you want to play him on the left wing, change his chemistry style to Hawk. That will help, I think. If you want to play him at striker, change his chemistry style to engine, if I didn't just say that. If you want to play him at striker, leave it as Hawk. Um, I think he's plenty fast enough and his shooting stats go through the roof and then that boost to physical is really helpful. Um, and play him at striker and see how he does a little more centrally. Even if he gets pulled in a little bit more in that 4-2-3-1 narrow version that a lot, a, lot of, a lot of people play. Last year was like the most meta formation. I haven't messed around with it too much this year. I kind of want to just stay away from like using the best formation, you know, and I kind of like having like the one center mid that sits like really deep to protect that back line. But anyway, that's neither here nor there at the moment. Uh, so human and son performed pretty poorly for me as unfortunate as that is to say. Um, but we'll give him another go and I will report back to you guys on that as soon as I have it. So again, link to these docs is in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Be on the lookout for a lot more, um, player reviews coming uh you know beginning of uh of this week here monday tuesday uh wednesday probably all going to be player reviews um i have a versus episode coming out as well where i compare two players um against each other with similar positions but very different price ranges uh very cool series definitely make sure you check that out that's going to be coming so uh if you guys have any questions or comments uh please feel free to leave them down below i will i get back to every single comment if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like on it and if you enjoy the content on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscription button. We are growing like crazy. I think we've had like 100 subscribers just in the last 28 days. So couldn't be more thankful to everybody watching these videos. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for me for now. And uh, oh, wait, don't sign off yet because um, after I'm done talking and we're looking at this boring sheet, uh, there is some goal highlights. So stick around for that. Um, you can see Hyun Min Son in his brightest moments for me. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Uh, that's going to be it. Stick around for those highlights and I'll talk to you later.
Do you feel your bones start to shake? Do you feel the earthquake? Do you feel your bones start to shake? 